Hi guys, Adam here with Adam L Photography and today I'm just going to answer a quick question I've been getting asked a lot lately which is uh, what, what is my setup when I'm shooting nature stuff, especially wildlife. Um, and I've got it here with me now, this is basically the setup I take into the field with me. So a quick run through of what I have here, I have a Manfrotto tripod, this is the 504 HD head. Um, I've got the, uh, the Tamron 150-600mm, that's a Nikon lens. I have that mounted to my Ursa Mini 4K, now this is the EF so I use an Overflex adapter in there so I can mount those lenses and I run everything off of just these IDX batteries. This is the Duo 95. These are great little batteries for this camera. Basically one of these batteries will give me about two and a half hours continuous shooting time even at higher frame rates. So that's um, that's the general list of what I use. Talk a little bit about why I use it. The main reason I like to use a really long lens when I'm shooting and this lens on this camera essentially gives me the equivalent of 900 mils on a full frame sensor. Um, is that I don't, want to, I don't want to impede, I don't want to intrude on my subjects. When I'm shooting wildlife, I want it to do its thing and not have me involved in it. I don't want things looking at me, even though sometimes that can be the money shot. I prefer just to film the natural environment without being involved. So to do that, I have to give myself a, a pretty bit of distance you know, from the subject, and uh, that's where the long lens comes in. Now, once you start getting to these long focal lengths, um, any kind of movement gives you a lot of camera shake. So you have to invest in a good tripod. And that's where this, uh, the Manfrotto one came in. This, this head is really good, uh, super steady, really smooth, and it can handle the weight of this rig really well. Um, I wouldn't push it a hell of a lot further weight-wise, uh, maybe another kilogram at most. But for this setup, which is the heaviest setup I'm using at the moment in the field, it's perfect. It really, really smooth, locks down really well. Once you get it balanced right, it's perfect. Um, the camera, when I'm shooting with this camera, generally, generally when I'm shooting uh, like things like nature stuff, especially birds and all that, um, I'll be shooting it in 4K RAW. Um, if it's something that I already have footage of or it's not something that's uh, too unique, I'll uh, use that at the 4 to 1 or the 3 to 1 compression ratio. Um, that's shooting in 60 frames a second at 4K RAW. Um, the reason I use those compression ratios is just so I can save space. It, um, this camera churns through an incredible amount of data once you start shooting RAW. If it's something a bit more unique, then I'll, just, I'll switch over to lossless and just, uh, and just fire it away and try to get that, that footage in the highest quality possible. Um, in order to make that doable, you, you have to use a lot of memory. And at the moment, I only have two CFast cards, which are both 128 gigs. And when you start shooting RAW, it'll churn through those cards so quickly, especially at 60 frames a second. So I tend to keep my MacBook with me with a two gig, uh, sorry, two terabyte external hard drive on hand so that I can just dump data when I need to. Um, once you start shooting at those higher frame rates as well, you really need the two cards so that you can shoot uh, one frame, alternative frames to each card. Um, otherwise, you do tend to find once in a while you get drop frames. And that's the last thing you want when, you're, when you've done all the work to get in the field, get the shot, line everything up. The moment happens and you lose it because of a bit of, you know, a bit of tech. Um, oh, it drives me crazy when that happens. So, yeah, that's my general rig that I'm using at the moment. So, look, a big part of why I do what I do, um, apart from the passion for photography and cinema photography, uh, cinematography is, is conservation. Um, th there is an amazing amount of, you know, just natural beauty in this world that we are losing, you know, there, there are animals that are endemic to just certain areas of this island alone in the world and, and, and these things are slowly disappearing to development and commercialization of our planet and, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not personally in a position to effect change directly on a lot of these things that goes down, I, you know, I'm not a billionaire and um, you know, I'm, not, I'm not a mover and shaker and I'm not in government. What I can do and what I do try to do is to create imagery and, uh, and video and film that will hopefully elicit an emotional response from people who are in those positions. And that's my ultimate goal is I want to get all this work out there and show it to the people and say, look at what we have. Look, at, it's here now, we need to keep it, we need to protect it. I'm very passionate about doing this. And I just wanted to say, big thank you to all my uh, subscribers and my, the people who follow me on, on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter. I mean, you guys are what make it possible for me to continue to do what I do. Um, by showing me that support, I'm able to create a platform that not only I can reach directly to you, but also people who can help and that do finance uh, these kind of endeavors uh, are more uh, open, uh, more attracted to, uh, to helping me complete these goals. Um, when there's a large enough audience there and 
by hitting that subscribe button, by, by doing that follow button, by sharing it, by liking it, by commenting, by showing that you care, um, you make it possible for me to continue to do what I do. And I really appreciate that. I couldn't do it without you. And I just wanted to say thank you very much. And uh, if you keep on supporting me, I'll keep on doing it. So yeah, I appreciate it. Anyway, this is Adam L. Happy shooting.